dog. It's on your finger. It's on my finger. No. Hello and welcome, welcome to I, this is. I, no, 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 no. Hands up. Hands up. I don't know how to categorize this video. What we did is we went to a Are bunch of drug stores and Matt, pharmacies. You, you might be demonetized right now. Yeah, I know. Could, we blur went this. <laughs> I can rip this open with, I can Lamar this. Then Lamar it. Almost all of these was at the consumer value store. CVS? You didn't <laughs> yeah. go to the corner of happy and healthy, Matt? How I did you? go to the corner of happy and healthy. Unfortunately, I am neither of those things. <laughs> But we also went to like a Walgreens. We went to a Rite Aid. In the United States, pharmacies are a little different because it's almost a lot of like Walgreens, CVS, these kind of stores are typically filled with obviously, you know, medication, yeah. that kind of stuff. But also they usually have a decent size of the store, which has like cosmetics, also just random gadgets and gizmos and stuff. So uh, this is the bug assault. You load it up with- Salt. What? Uh, high performance. <laughs> Salt. They just took a normal salt thing and put a different label on yeah. it and probably charged you twice as much. Oh, yeah. That was $15 for that. But it's coarser. Treat gun is loaded firearm at all times. By removing this tag and using the Bug Assault 3.0, you are assuming full responsibility and liability for any direct, consequential, and indirect damages, whether foreseen or unforeseen, that may arise. I don't think uh, this is legally binding when I take off the sticker, but nice try. Hey, hey treat it like a loaded firearm it's at all times. It's not loaded. Look at my trigger discipline. Did you just put it in my face? Yeah, don't shoot in face or eyes. It's basically a nerf that shoots salt. You're pointing that gun in all kinds of ways that are literally directly at me and Kenzie. My trigger discipline. <laughs> you stop doing that. I'm in charge of this. You stay away. Look down the barrel of the gun real quick. Absolutely not, sir. So, all right, we spent $50 on the gun. Ooh. $15 on the salt. And that brings us to our first. Oh, good Lord. The bug assault bug beam adapter kit. Attaches to the barrel and it's a laser sight. I'm gonna try to shoot off camera near literally no one you're gonna he's gonna shoot either a monitor or a camera I, i'm gonna aim for that chair and i'm gonna see i'm gonna try to hit it right in the top so ready and oh i'm gonna stop shooting this in the studio this seems this highly is not dangerous. safe at all but you know what is safe pointing laser beams at things and then shooting them first of all i just want to like it's just salt there's it, nothing no unique this, about this is in fact coarser salt this is larger this is large caliber salt just showing you the laser is That is a great way to ruin our ca camera sensors. <laughs> I'm gonna step off the set. Can you follow me with your phone and let's show everyone what this looks like? Yeah. Okay, you ready? I might be out of ammo though. Can't see anything. Wow. It's meant for bugs, not blasting through walls. Okay, bug assault is weird. I guess it kind of works if you're wanting to uh, hunt bugs. The problem is, is that you're gonna have a very salty house. You know what I, I think this would, is better for? Tactically <laughs> seasoning your food. Oh, these, these mashed potatoes are pretty good, but uh, bam! Now they're great. Move over, Salt Bay. Let the let the bugs know that we are stocked for the the bug apocalypse. So uh, we just did our little episode about uh, our controller tier list, and yeah. we we dinged the Xbox controllers. We didn't like that they had to use double A batteries, yeah. and everyone's like, "Well, you don't know how batteries work. You could just get some rechargeable double A's." That annoying commenter was right. We could just get some rechargeable double A's. We could, yeah. So I present to you, the Alpha. Fast charge lithium ion batteries. So it's four lithium ion batteries and a double A wrapper. Uh, this was at a drugstore? Yes. Those were $20. You probably could get it cheaper on Amazon, but Wait. when you know, you're know you on vacation, or whatever, this is a pretty good thing. So this is a double A battery that has a USB type C port. Okay, you know what? That is actually awesome. Seeing a little AA battery with a USB-C port for charging, that is a stunningly good idea. I'm legitimately impressed. <laughs> Here we have our Amish technology, you know, AA batteries. Just so run that one back? Toss those out. The fact that this was 20 bucks at a drugstore, I am immediately gonna say it's totally worth it. If these batteries are remotely okay. I think it's genius. incredibly cool. If a battery, a rechargeable AA battery from a drugstore has a USB-C port. You have no excuse, companies, for Apple. not giving me a USB-C port and whatever it is that I'm buying on Apple. Amazon or whatever. This is rad though. I am fully in favor of this, this item. This Two right here for up. 20 bucks, go out, get a pair. Look, um, we got all this power, but what do we use with all this? This is a modern miracle. But you know, sometimes the modern miracles make old miracles even better, which is why I was able to 
Get us a nice. Oh my goodness. Is Kobe CD player. Portable compact CD player and with super bass as well as the world's cheapest headphones. How much did the CD player cost? The CD player was $29.99. $29.99. for a CD player. This on the front advertised the digital one bit DAC. Now I'm not sure how many bits you need for a DAC, but I think it's more than one. It's definitely more than one. <laughs> I just love that this came like in the the blister pack that yeah. we've kind of all universally agreed should go away. I'm not having a good time right now, but I think we got it. There we go. I like how I took off the uh, the little plastic off of it. It somehow it looks look, more plastic. It looks worse. Yeah. Like <laughs> one of the things that I will have I have to boast about all these these pharmacies and convenience stores is just how good their music selection is. Apple oh, Music. Oh. On the, on the rocks right now, because if you can go into a convenience store that's on every corner of happiness and healthy and pick out bangers such as A Mighty Wind, <laughs> <laughs> songs by the Folksmen, Mitch and Mickey, 17 new songs. If you can just go pick up bangers like this, what do, what do you even need Spotify for? Let me give you The Mighty Wind. We're going to close it. Do you remember when CDs had these amazing booklets? Old Joe's Place. It's just that kind of day. Never did no wandering by the folksmen. Let's see how good the anti-skip is. Matt, would you like to experience some one bit action? Yeah. Okay, to be fair, Mighty Wind kind of slaps. Let me tell you, Mighty Wind, they slap, but you know what doesn't slap? These god awful headphones. These are not doing the Mighty They're Wind actually justice. not that bad. So, They're here's okay. what we got for you. <gasps> Are these my Sony MDR E9 LP fashion earbuds? How much were these? $17.99. That's Whoa. about $7 too expensive, I think. Okay. Nope. There you go. If I close my eyes, these feel exactly the same. <laughs> I don't know if this is the upgrade you think it is. No, they're worse. Ow. Turn down, turn down. Oh, wow, that is very loud. I hear that. Those sound actually worse. I'm telling you, the ones that came with this are better than they look. Like, they're not good, but they're not terrible. Those are just bad. These actually suck. These, like, literally are terrible. I had a whole, like, fun segue, but, like, these are just bad. Don't get them. Don't, don't buy them. Good just advice. Get those out of here. Those were fashion headphones, but uh, that's not the fashion you should be rocking because everyone knows <laughs> the real high-end fashion comes from panda bears. Oh, my God. Pandas are the dumbest animals on earth. Gabba goods. Man. Gabba goods. We got the Gabba goods here on this is, so make sure you're liking and subscribing. How much were these for context? The Gabba goods were $10.99. Much more stylish than the Sony's. And it's got a mic. I will say they do feel cheap, but having a microphone and having pandas on pandas. the side. If you want to try to perpetuate the dumb animals that don't need to exist anymore. Why does anyone care about pandas besides the fact that they're mildly cute? I don't think so. They're besides majestic the creatures. Okay, uh, I don't like that you're impersonating me right now. <laughs> they fit okay, although I will say the size of the panda. You're gonna have people booping your your your, your ear snoots. Boop. I mean, it doesn't sound terrible, but I will say this is the height of fashion. Maybe it's time to move on to the to the modern times. You know what, Matt? I need a banger right now. Do you got a banger in that box? I think I know the problem that you you have right now. I have a lot of problems. Go ahead. You're a gamer and you don't compromise. Well, Damn. CVS has you covered. The pro gaming mouse with a DPI switch and an LED mouse pad. All right, you ready for the first flap? The first flap. Oh. I mean, it feels fine. It definitely has got the same kind of LED strip, although I would be curious if the quality is remotely decent. That's not on, is it? Uh, it's on. Why is half but, of it not work? Yeah, half of <laughs> This side kind of works, <laughs> and this side doesn't. Let me hit some buttons. Ooh. Why does it smell like sushi? I don't like that you just really dove into that one. Oh my god, I just realized the mouse looks stupid. First of all, it's the light. Like, this is going to float away. Wow, it flew really far for like, one little tap. If you're in a pinch and you know, oh, you're traveling, whatever, well, and if you're buying gaming your gear at a pharmacy, then you're probably yeah. not gonna have super high uh, standards. Can, do, totally what not. did we pay for these? The mouse pad was five ninety nine. Okay. Okay. And fine. the mouse was ten ninety nine. Uh, you okay. could do worse. Sixteen bucks if I'm at great grandma's apartment 
in the middle of Kentucky. Duluth, Minnesota. And I can't go home for four days because my mom is a tyrant and I'm just forced to be here and to pretend to spend time with my cousin who smells a little weird. Really is that do where is Austin Smell Overwatch. Tips came from? You just I sniffing can spend cousins? $15 and have a great gaming time by locking the door to my room and telling everyone to go fuck themselves. Are you sniffing cousins? I gotta be careful. No, no, this is a theoretical thing, but some cousins, you don't have to sniff for them. You can smell them. My okay. cousin definitely watches the channel. Chris, if you're watching this, I'm not gonna sniff you, but... How does he smell though? It smells like lilacs and... What's a lilac? So, look, if you got a cousin that you don't want to sniff... Have we stopped? Go right. ahead and use this on him. Only in America, <laughs> right next to the bug assault, can you get a thing of mace. So, here's the fun thing. It's not mace. It's just called mace. Just, oh! All it is is an alarm. The thing is called mace, but it's not actually like pepper spray like you normally think about. It's just an alarm. And got it. It so works. that ringing in my ears is going to be here for a while. It right? works. Can I, wait, wait, wait. It's also a whistle. That's somehow louder. How much was this? The Mace personal alarm was $13. Besides the fact that they obviously clickbaited with an inaccurate title, if you're trying to alarm and whistle, I mean, this will do it. Look, I think that's going to get rid of that your stinky, stinky cousin. <laughs> it just kind of stinks up the room and you got to... Literally not true. Literally not like, true. It just lingers. It lingers. <laughs> so what do we have here is our next... Next product. Wireless speaker diffuser. That's a three in one, which means that I have not only supreme audio, but also it's a nightlight and it gives me soothing mist. How now, much was the Zen Rocks? The Zen Rock speaker diffuser was $24.99. All right, you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. While you unbox that, I'm gonna bring up another product here. Another one? Because you're vibing. How much? You're vibing. While you're vibing there, chilling with your diffuser, you don't wanna be holding the phone like some sort of you know, poor person. You know, and here's something that we I think we've had on the channel before, but it's always a goodie. Adjustable little neck. Oh, good Lord. Are you serious? Contraption. <gasps> they did have some essential oils. Finally, I can do this for real. <laughs> so now I don't have to, uh, I don't have to hold this. I got my hands free to do whatever I want. A... Again, you can get a POV shot. Oh, there's my microphone of what we see here. You know, you're just vibing out. You could be watching um, Game of Thrones. Do people still watch that? No. And then you just have your aromatherapy thing there. Matt, at some point, do we have anything that's actually from a pharmacy? We do. This is we, just... we have we have one item. I'll okay. give you this one first. Uh, you look dirty. You know what you need to do is clean up a little bit. Okay. With my UVC micro sterilization unit, zap germs with your phone. So you plug this into your phone and then it UV sterilizes. We've had some weird health uh, products on here. Yeah. Uh, uh, we the FDA the sharper... does not certify any of these things to be actual, real, authentic thing. <laughs> it's literally a lightning port and a tiny little LED. Sanitize me. Oh, I can feel the, I can feel me getting clean. Goodbye, COVID. We've, we've solved the world's problems. Here, do that on my kidneys down. What do we pay for this? That thing was nine ninety nine. dollars Look, is dumb. I know... We can... Yep, that's gone. I know that after a long day of unboxing things, sometimes you're sore. I, you know what? I'm sore I right now. No, oh, ah, Matt. My back. Ah. Oh, why would your back be hurting? Oh, what do you unbox with? shoulder. Oh, ow. What do you unbox with? Ah, uh, with, with my strength. You don't, ah. what, what strength? Ah. You unbox with your hands. Ah, my hands are, well, look, look, they're, they're, bro I, Matt, fix my hands. <laughs> look up. We have <laughs> the cordless hand massager. Hello, health and relaxation enthusiasts. <laughs> Did you know that 90% of the world's population use their hands daily? Wait, wait, who's the 10% who don't use their hands every day? This was by far the most expensive thing we bought. I believe it. It's the biggest box. I feel like I'm about to turn to Mega Man over here. <laughs> For the record, this is why we bought it. Smell my finger. <laughs> oof, oof. That's a strong off-gassing, my friend. I'm gonna do my left hand because I need my right hand. Okay, activate. Oh, oh. Oh? I'm going full intensity, vibration, and heat. My hand is being smashed, squished. Matt, would you like to try? I turned the intensity all the way up. Ooh. 
And it actually, like, squeezed my hand almost a little too hard. Describe to us what you're feeling right now, Matt. It's like uh, one of the, the blood uh, pressure tests. Oh my god, look at my hand! <laughs> Can you see oh, that? I don't like that. This is nice. Kinsey, what do we pay for this? $124.99. $125 at a pharmacy? I'm actually okay with this purchase that we made. It does make nice noises, and it does look like a Mega Man blaster. I am actually in favor of this. Pew! Pew! Like, subscribe, follow us for more items. We have more things from other stores that you shouldn't buy tech from, but we're going to find it anyway. And until next time, friends, let the big wind be with you.